like he literally left me stranded in the hood. So messed up. Like he knew my phone was dead. And this is the messed up part. After that, we still kept talking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little background on how we met. So, we met in culinary school. Like he, uh, one day he came up to me. He was like, hey, he was like, um, um, I wanna get to know you better and all this stuff. And he was like, can I have your phone number? And at first I told him no. But then um, he asked again. And I said, I was like, oh, I don't know. I just felt bad for him. So I said, yeah, oh, that's so stupid. Like who does that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, who does that stuff? But anyway, so anyway, we met in culinary school and um, yeah, we started talking and stuff and hanging out. And he lived in Memphis and I lived in Arkansas, so but he lived way out there in Memphis, so yeah, like 40 minutes from where he lived. He lived way out there in Memphis, like um, where are some places? I don't know what you call it, but he lived way, way, way out there. Man. It was 40, 50 minutes away, like way out there. But yeah. So yeah, we started hanging out and all that stuff. So one day, um, yeah, one day I was over his house. He worked at FedEx. So I was over his house one day and I was just watching TV. And like, he was getting ready to go to work because he you know, worked at FedEx. So he worked at nighttime. It was, it was like 11. I'm watching TV and stuff. And he all in the bathroom and combing his hair and like getting all done up and stuff. I'm like, what is he doing that for? He just going to work. So I went back there and I was like, I was like, why are you getting all um, fixing yourself up and stuff? You just going to work. And he was like, man, don't start with me. I'm just trying to fix myself up because I'm going to work. And I was like, you ain't never did this before. And he was like, man, don't play with me. I'm like, whatever. So yeah, he never did this before. Like he never fixed himself up and all that stuff. Usually he didn't do that. He just put his work clothes on and go to work. Now he fixed himself up and all that. I'm like, what is going on? So anyway, he uh, we got in the car on the way to my house. So we on the highway. So yeah, and so we riding, riding. And then uh, some his phone started ringing and he picked up and He's talking about something. Uh, actually, no, I heard it. He was talking to some girl. And he was like, she, she called him a hoe or something. And some other stuff that he was talking about. I was like, I can't believe this This boy just didn't pick up, picked up the phone while I'm in the car with him. I'm like, what in the world? Like, he picked up the phone while I'm in the car with him with another girl. I was like, what? Is you, are you serious right now? So that made me mad. I was mad. Oh, and then I was like, I think that oh, he was on the phone. I was like, who are you talking to? No, wait, no, she, he, I think he hung up or something. Then she called again, he picked up. And I guess she was, she said she was one of his old friends or something. I don't know. But yeah, so he's talking to her and stuff. And she called him a hoe and all this stuff. And I said, I was like, you are a hoe. Because he, he, I was already mad from when he was at home. And he was getting all fixed up. I was already mad from that. So yeah. And then, he, I mean, I said, well, who's on the phone with the girl? So, yeah. And I guess that made him even more mad. It made him even more madder. So, he kept talking and talking to her. And I was so mad. But, yeah, he kept talking and talking to her. And then he hung up. And then, um, what else happened? I'm trying to figure out what else happened. I think we started arguing some. Yeah, we was arguing some. I was like, who are you talking to? I was like, why are you pick up the phone with her in front of me? I'm like, who is she? I was asking all these questions. Like, I was, I was mad. And then so we just kept arguing and arguing. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I guess I had made a mad of the words I was saying. I know I caught I know I, I said no, I don't call him a hoe and what else? There was it just called him a hoe. I don't know why he got that mad. But anyway, so I was like, uh he was like, Do you want me to throw you out? I was like, You ain't gonna throw me out of the car. And so he uh 
he kind of, uh, he, uh, what did he do? He, he got off the interstate. We pull, pulled off in this real, this real hood area. I think it was off of Airways. It was off of Airways in Memphis. Remind you, it was like 12 o'clock at night, winter time, snow on the ground. And yeah, and we're not in a good area. So yeah, he, um, we pulled up in the dollar store parking lot. And he was like, get out. I was like, I'm not getting out this car. He was like, get out. I was like, I'm not getting out. He's like, you don't make me late for work. I said, like, you taking me home? You're not leaving me here. So, anyway, he um, he's like, get out. I was like, no. So anyway, he opened the door and threw my stuff out. Like, cause we had just came from um, we had culinary school that day, and he threw my books and stuff out. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I need that stuff. And um, and he threw it out. He's like, uh, get out. I was like, I'm not getting out. I was like, why'd you throw my stuff out? So anyway, um, I mean, I needed my stuff, but I mean, he was gonna leave me if when he got it. So like a, um, I mean, like a dummy, dummy. I opened the door, but I left the door open. Yeah, I left, I left the door open, and yeah, I left the door open, and I didn't close it. I didn't get out all the way out the car, but I left the prop, left the door open all the way, cause I figured if he tried to drive off, the door gonna be open if he drive off. So I didn't think he would do that. But yeah, I left the door open and I heard him grab this stuff. And then he just pulled off the damn door open. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like he was like, whoop. He was, <laughs> he was out of there. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I can't believe he left me. And then he, did he throw the rest of my stuff out? Yeah, and he threw the rest of my stuff out too. Like, yeah. And I was so mad. Like he left me in the middle of the dark. One o'clock at night. Well, two o'clock at night. Yeah, two o'clock at night. I'm at the dollar store. Snow on the ground. I'm like, what the world? But anyway, so um, um, I went inside and I called. Uh, yeah, I went inside and used that used that phone and I called him. I was like, you need to come pick me up. He was like, I'm on my way to work. And so we start arguing the phone. I was like, you need to come get me. Like I was yelling at him, and he was yelling at me back at me too. So I hung up on his ass. But yeah, like, yeah, he left me there to go to work. Like, yeah, that's so messed up. Like, he literally left me stranded in the hood, snow on the ground, it's winter time. Like, bruh, thank God the dollar store was open, man. I would have been messed up if it wasn't open. <sighs> but yeah, anyway, so I called him. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, bruh, my cell phone. Yeah, my cell phone was off. Like my phone had died too. Cause my phone was kinda raggedy then. Like um, it would only come on when I was by a charger. My phone was dead, he knew that, and he left me there. Like that, so messed up. Like he knew my phone was dead, but he didn't care. He did, I, told, he, he, I told him my phone didn't really start up like that. He knew it was like messed up. He knew it was dead, and he still he left me left me stranded. <sighs> but yeah. Makes me kind of sad talking about it, but yeah, so, um, what happened? Yeah, I called my mom on their phone, and I told her to come get me, and she came and get me, and she she was mad, like, she was mad. She's like, I don't want you talking back to this, sorry, sorry, nigga, like, just going on and on and on, but yeah, I know, ooh, I was mad. I think, I, I think I had called his mom, did I call his mom? Did I, I think I wrote his mom on Facebook and told her what she, what he did. Did I? Trying to figure out how she find out. I think I did. Mom, what he did, as usual. These moms don't care about don't care what their sons do. They're like, oh, he's my baby, and all this stuff. So she didn't really care. She didn't do nothing about it. I'm not even sure she yelled at him, but that was about it. She didn't, she didn't really care. But yeah, and that's uh. And then after that, uh, and this is the messed up part. After that, we still kept talking. After. did to me I still kept talking to him I know it's crazy I mean he was my first boyfriend so I mean I mean I guess I didn't want to be I mean I guess I still liked him even though he did that stuff to me but whatever so yeah we just kept talking after that and he just he was he was no good for me at all like he was no good for me like no all the stuff he did he was just no good like, he put me through a lot of hell, but it's crazy. Like, 
the hell? But yeah. He, um. Yeah. But yeah, he, um. But I'm not with him now. I'm not with him now. He's an ex for a reason, but yeah. So yeah, guys, that's my story time. But yeah, you guys are subscribed. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notifications. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.